In New York State, backseat passengers will now need to buckle up or pay up. In a few months, fines will be issued for not wearing a seatbelt, and in some cases, the driver could actually be penalized too. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. This video shows what happens when a backseat passenger is not buckled up during a crash. Governor Cuomo's office says 30 percent of highway deaths in New York are occupants unrestrained by a seatbelt, which is why he signed legislation Tuesday that requires all backseat passengers wear one or face a $50 fine. It takes effect November 1st. Small thing, put your seatbelt on. I'm okay with it. When you get in a car, do you put on your seatbelt in the back? I do. I do, because people drive crazy in New York. I don't ever wear a seatbelt in the back of a car. But the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety believes more people in New York will now, as seatbelt use is higher in states that make it the law. Studies have shown 90% of adults buckle up in the front seat, while only 76% do in the back. And even fewer wear seatbelts in four higher vehicles. The legislation allows officers to make stops just for a backseat passenger not wearing a seatbelt, whereas in New Jersey, it's only enforced if the vehicle is stopped for another reason. Also, with the law in New York, an officer can use discretion and ticket the driver as well. I think we should just focus on raising awareness because it's ultimately going to affect working class people and poor people more than anyone else. Anything for safety, but is it necessary right at this moment? I think there should be stricter fines for people not adhering to social distancing. The law applies to yellow taxis and shared rides like Uber and Lyft. Both companies tell CBS2 they support the law and encourage compliance. 30 other states have similar legislation. On the West Side, Lisa Rosner, CBS2 News. And in 1984, under Governor Mario Cuomo, New York became the first state to pass a mandatory seatbelt law in the country.